Hello, Gemini viewers. I'm going to look into your situation, um, what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks. We'll just see what the story is here. I think the last reading I did, I was getting that there was one final battle. Your guides were, um, there might be some difficulties in your life recently and, and your guides are basically testing you to see how committed you are to this um, life that you're manifesting, to this new life and new love. So you might have a new person that's your um, life partner, but you might have an ex coming back around to almost test your, um, you know, your stability and your commitment to this new life that you're you're asking for, that you're trying to manifest. So it's like there's one final battle, one final challenge um, for you guys. But let's see what the story is here. We've got divine intervention, synchronicity, beauty, mystery, enchantment nostalgia longing yeah i feel like mercury retrograde might be bringing an x in for some of you it's like look what the cat dragged in oh my god i don't know why that came to mind <laughs> divine intervention synchronicity um that was cheesy i know it just i don't know why i just looked at the cards and it just came to mind um <laughs> now i'm laughing at myself over here see beauty mystery enchantment it's like someone's longing for that someone's this person doesn't have I don't think this person has a chance with you anymore though there might be some feeling left on your end but I feel like you've sort of shifted away from it like I feel like they just took too long or they they couldn't make up their mind or maybe they rejected you and at first you chased them and then it's like I feel like you've gotten to a point where you just you're you're You've started focusing on other things. For the Geminis that I channel, you guys are in like high priestess or high priest energy. And I've been getting that for months. It's been a consistent story where the past year or so, you guys have just been leveling up and ascending higher and higher and higher. Um, like really coming into your power, um, even more so than most of the zodiac signs that I channel. And it's like this person is like... It's like mysterious now. They don't have you now, you know? And that's kind of how reconciliation works as well. Um, for those of you that do witchcraft, it's like if you've been manifesting this person back, it's usually when you give up on them and you're kind of just focusing on other things or doing your own thing. It's like that's when all that energy is just free to come in because um, it's like there's no control. There's no stagnancy. So it's like it all floods in at once. It almost seems like one of those situations for some of you. Where it's like this person doesn't have a chance with you or maybe you have some feeling left but you really don't trust them anymore. Um, yeah, because it was toxic. There were red flags. There were hidden motives with this person. Domination, control. Not a great energy from this ex. Not a great energy. But we'll look into the new person as well because you've also just manifested or you are currently manifesting a new person. But I think there's just like a heads up about an ex that's thinking about you right now. And it doesn't mean for sure that the ex is going to text you. They might not, but it's like saying that you are in their energy field. Like they are, you see this person that's like longing for this, this stone. It's like, it's something that's, it's dead. It's over. But it, it's like, there's a skull in the background too, but it's like he or she is like longing for this. And that's like your ex longing for you. It's like this situation is over, but it's like they're so nostalgic and so emotional that they don't even see that this is dead. They're just, they just, they're, they want that back. They, they want that familiar energy back. They want to come crawling back to, I think that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. I think that they, they went and tried to explore the world and it just, it didn't go well for them. They're wanting to come back in and be, maybe they cheated on you before too. And now they're wanting to be loyal and stable and offer these promises, but it's like, Still the red flag, still the domination control. It's like you can't really, seems like the same crap as before. And so you're asked to be, um, you're, you're, you're asked to be, uh, your, your guides are asking you to choose a path here because it seems like you have a pattern with men or with women, whoever it is that you date. You have some kind of romantic pattern here of maybe um, abusive or toxic relationships, emotionally unavailable relationships, relationships where you just, you don't feel like you're, you can't be your true self, you can't relax, like everything just being a struggle. You have that pattern. And so you're being asked here to, to choose a path, like do you want to go back to that old pattern with this person or do you, are you really committed to this new life 
that you're asking for. And this is sort of just like an extension of that reading that I did a couple weeks ago where I was getting, it's like, your spirit guides are testing you. There's one final battle. Your guides want to see if you can really break this pattern for good. They want to see how committed you are to this new life and this new love that you're asking for. Because this person, this ex wants reconciliation, but like I said, it's toxic. That's the problem. It could be too that maybe you still need to break this pattern. Maybe you haven't broken it yet. And maybe you, um, let's see. I'm going to be shocked if I get the tower because I feel the tower. I don't know if it's going to come out though. Oh my God. That's crazy. Did you see that? Cannot make that shit up. <laughs> that was nuts. I felt it. I saw it in my head. I'm like, the tower is going to come out. <laughs> oh my God. That was nuts. Okay. Nine of Wands reversed in the tower. Maybe you have broken this pattern. Maybe you have leveled up because I was expecting to see the tower upright. Because the Nine of Wands would, uh, the Nine of Wands upright would mean like one final battle, like you're almost there, but it's like it's reversed, you know. And the Tower upright would be like, like something that just comes crashing in and makes everything come crumbling down. And it's almost like, like battle's over finally. Did something happen in the last couple of weeks where it's like the battle, like you're you you pass the test or you learn the lesson, and so you you don't have to go through any more Tower moments and you get to just go forward with the Sun. Because this is not the energy I was expecting. I was expecting an extension of what, because um, I got that energy a couple of weeks ago. I'm like, there's a, there's another battle. And what the cards, what these cards just said is basically like, no, maybe there's not. For some of you, maybe there's, maybe you're just there. Because um, that was a very gentle energy, just moving forward with ease. Maybe you're you're having maybe you have the option of learning this lesson in a smooth way so that you don't have to go through another traumatic heartbreak or another traumatic experience, you know? Because I feel like I feel like the issue is that you're trying to manifest this true love for some of you. Some of you, like I said, maybe you're already in this gentle energy and you're already at that level. You've done the healing, you've broken the pattern. The world is your oyster now and you're open to a completely different type of person. For the few of you that have not gotten there quite yet, I think it's just, um, it's like you're, you're asking for true love. You're asking for like your life partner and you've either just met them or you're going to meet them in the near future. Could be like a coworker or somebody in your energy field that's watching you. Um, if not physically, then it's just someone that you're, you're connecting with in the higher realms and they're, they, you know, they'll be coming in in the near future, I feel. But like for some, it's about breaking this pattern. Like for some of you that still have this pattern of going for toxic or emotionally unavailable people, you know, insecurities, having to chase people that, that don't reciprocate. Um, it's like your guides can't really bring you true love in because that person when like your true love, someone who would treat you like a queen or treat you like a queen, like a king wouldn't be your type. Like, they wouldn't resonate with you because it's not familiar because you have this pattern probably that stems from childhood that you keep repeating. And so like someone treating you so well, just like with that energy would confuse you almost. It's like it wouldn't resonate with you. Like you would be attached to the drama. You wouldn't understand why things were so simple. You might sabotage it. You might question it. You might wonder if it's too good to be true. And so your guides in these kind of situations, it's like your guides have to be careful because if they bring a soulmate in, and you're not like in that space where you can um, accept that kind of deep love and where you where you can resonate with that kind of love, then it's like you end up sabotaging it and then that ruins that connection. So they really want to make sure that when they bring the soulmate in, that you're actually going to like be open to that energy, that you're ready to be loved and, and spoiled and treated the way that you're asking to be treated. They want to make sure that like on a psychological level and also on a spiritual level as well, that you're resonating with that energy of just being loved and being pursued and being wanted like you're asking. You know, you got to make sure your thoughts and your your soul and, and your words and everything are all lining, are all in alignment here. But um, 
But I feel like, like I said, I feel like what I was getting a couple weeks ago was that there's one final battle. So I feel like you've done work on breaking this pattern. I feel like this is a pattern you're already conscious of and you've already worked hard on breaking it. So you're already pretty much almost there. And some of you, it's like, God, how do I explain that energy? For some of you, it, it's like, like give yourself credit for all the work you've done because you you have, like I said, you're almost there. Like you're you're pretty much there. Some of you are there and some of you are almost there. Some of you have already conquered this. But for those of you that aren't, that haven't quite conquered it yet, it's like it's 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 coming now. Like it's like this month, um, when you when you end when you transition away from this pattern. I feel when you find, but again, this has been probably months or probably more like more likely years of work that you've been doing to end these patterns. It's like you've learned a lot. You've gone through a lot of harsh lessons to get to that point. For some of you, though, I feel like to officially end this pattern you have with emotionally unavailable people, your guides might have to bring another tower moment in where it's like something has to shake you up so much, like some sort of like mistreatment or someone like some kind of negativity involving someone else just to put you in that energy of like, I can never do this again. Like I can never handle this again. Like I'll never like to put you in this, um, like to, almost to just shake things up and like upset you. But the purpose of that would be to change your perspective so that you you understand that emotionally unavailable people are just they're going to keep being emotionally unavailable abusive people are always going to be abusive like someone that hits a woman is always going to be that person that hits a woman there's, there's no there's just simply men that hit women and men that don't hit women and you want one that doesn't you know what i mean like no more excuses for these people that have that have mistreated you um physically or mentally or whatever the situation might might have been but it's like for some of you, it's like you have to have another tower moment so that you can just be so disgusted with that type of man or with that type of woman, you know? So say you're going through like, um, say, say you're dating people that like you always argue with and they always control you and they always gaslight you. It's like you might find yourself during Mercury retrograde. I hate to, I hate to be negative. I, I know, but you, especially during Mercury retrograde with miscommunication, you might find yourself getting in a really heated argument with someone and have them say some harsh things, but it's like a necessary tower moment where that's going to trigger you and you're going to be like disgusted with that energy. You know what I mean? Like you're going to recognize that energy on a deeper level and you're going to be like, you know what? I don't ever, ever want to be gaslit again. I don't ever want to be talked to that way again. Like, like you're, you'll just, you'll be so disgusted with it. that like something will click and you'll just be done. Like you will just wake up like an overnight change and you'll just be like, I'm just, I'm just done with those kind of people. I'm just done with that kind of energy. Like it just will not resonate with you anymore. Like no part of you will want that. No part of you will tolerate that any further. Even if it means being alone for a while to to change this pattern. It's like you're just going to get to that point where you're like, I'm just, I'm done with that energy. I'm just, you know what I mean? Like you're just not going to resonate with it. You know, it's like that tower one that just comes to shake everything up so that you can end that because they need you to end that pattern. Again, most, some of you have already ended it. You've been working on this for a long time. Some of you have already ended it. Some of you are in the process of ending it, but some of you might have to have another major tower moment, like an argument or some sort of chaos just to get you in that mentality of I'm done. Screw this. I don't ever want this energy again. Um, like a breakdown process so that you can rebuild yourself and you can build up a new pattern and start going for a new type of person. But that's only for a few of you that I think have to have that like dramatic argument, you know, chaotic energy during Mercury retrograde to shake things up and end this tower and end this pattern. Um, I think for a lot of you, a lot for a lot of you, and then this is, it's not saying that this is happening overnight. Like I think you've been, you've been working, you've been learning lessons and working on ending this pattern probably for months or years and so it's almost like this is like the grand finale of ending that that pattern. Like this is what cements it into place. And but for some of you, I'm really hopeful because what the other cards we're getting is is more of a, the, you know, we've got the nine of wands and the tower reverse. So it's more of a gentle energy, like you're ending that pattern. But for some of you, you can do it more gently. You can just recognize the lesson and recognize, hey, I don't want this anymore. Like maybe your ex will just text you or something. And I don't want to say that everyone's ex is going to text them. I don't, I can't predict that, but the energy is there of this toxic person wanting to reach out. 
So for some of you, it might be more of a gentle energy where they just reach out and you just speak your truth and you have this sense of pride and this sense of closure that you got to be the one that told that, that, to, that tells them no for a change. Like they were always telling you no, they were always rejecting you and now the ball is in your court. You get to see them come crawling back to you and you get to say, no, I don't want that. I want something better. I want a new life. I want someone who would never put their hands on me. I want someone who would never yell at me. I want someone who would never talk to me the way that you did. I want someone who would never cheat on me, never leave me, never abandon me the way that you did. You know, that kind of energy. And it's almost like it's like cathartic. It's like it's it's freeing for you. It's and that could be that little that that tower reversed is is that you just learn that lesson and you have that closure and it like gives you this sense of like finality, not with not just with this um, ex, but with that whole pattern of people that were similar to your ex that you kept repeating. You know what I mean? So it's, it's like you've been working on it for a long time, but you have like the grand finale coming up where you you transition into a new energy. Yeah, I feel like your ex is wanting to message. They want to, I think some of them are narcissists or psychic vampires, to be honest. And they want to, they want to throw themselves a pity party. Say, I miss you. I love you. I, I can't live without you. It's been so hard without you. I made a mistake leaving you. Blah, blah, blah. Well, motherfucker, you never should have left to begin with then. Like, what's your, no, uh-uh. Almost like crocodile tears is what I get from this. They're going to try to make you feel bad so they can string you along. And that's that test. That's that test where you're going to have to be strong because you're lonely right now, I feel. And so you're going to have to be strong and you're going to have to put this person in their place. And that's going to end that pattern. That's that grand finale. It's like the final test and it might be more intense than all the other little tests combined. This is like, this is like the final showdown here. Yeah, they're going to try to manipulate and deceive you with this message that they want to come, they want to come through with. They're going to try to try to tell you how sad they are, how much they miss you. And you have to be strong. You have to stay in your power. You have to remind yourself it's if it's it's going to be the same toxic energy that was there before. You know, you've got to remind yourself of what you deserve. And if you do that, then you're freeing yourself up for a whole different life and, and money and abundance and true love and, and uh, relationships like nothing you've ever known, like a whole new cycle. And so this is really, this is really important because if you go back with this person, you're, you could be in this cycle, this karmic cycle with them for years. You, there's like a lot at stake here. So it's really urgent. Like it's, it's, it's almost, it's intimidating looking at it. Cause it's like, it's so urgent. Cause it's like, if you go back in that cycle, you might be in this karmic cycle with them for years and years and in this stagnant energy for years. And you're going to regret it. If you act on your loneliness with this person, you're going to regret it so much. Like if you give into your loneliness and you just want someone there, you're going to be lying in bed next to them. And you're going to have this sinking gut feeling like crap. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have opened myself up again. Like you're going to feel they're going to do something and you're going to feel the way you used to feel with them. Like they're going to, they're going to cheat or you're going to feel alone. You're going to feel unwanted. There's going to be, I just get this visual of like someone lying in bed, like, like silently crying. Cause it's like, they made these promises. Like they, they were going to change that. They missed you so much. They love you. They'll get, they'll, they'll do better gaslighting you basically. And then it's like there's going to be this moment where you're just lying there and you're like, crap, I should not have gone through this cycle again because now you're attached again and now you're stuck in this cycle, this karmic cycle with them for another years possibly. It's, it's, like, it's like a major, like two very different paths that you can go down. This is really urgent. Um, and if you, if, you're, if you stay strong and you break this and you say, screw this person, and you get your closure when they come back around and you end it. Like, don't, I wouldn't see them. I would not go hang out with them or anything. I would just message and just get that closure that way. If this is your story. But once you do that, like, you have a whole new cycle. Like, abundance, love, happiness. Just, just a whole different path. Like, that is that grand finale. You will be stuck. I hate to, I hate to scare people. But it's like, if you go back, you're going to be stuck for a long time. You got to be strong. You got to be strong. Can you show me the new person really quick? I don't think they're going to show me the new person, but I'll ask anyway. Someone's dreaming about you. Someone's waiting and hoping and praying for you. It's like what you seek is seeking you. This new person is trying to manifest you just as you're trying to manifest them. So it's just like, just be strong, get through this energy with this ex, and then you have your energy cleared up for this new person. You know, be, ignore the apology, the regret, all this bullshit with the new person, with the old person, I mean. 
Yeah, because you've been codependent on the old person, so it's like it's a really it's a huge challenge that you have to get through. It's a huge challenge, especially when you feel alone and isolated. And when this was so familiar to you, it's hard. It's really difficult. But like I said, you have so much at stake here. So you really have to be strong. And you have to just get through this energy. When If this comes back around, you have to just get the closure. And some of you, maybe you even need to just message this person to get closure for yourself and just block them. Just say what you need to say and be done with it. You know? Don't get dragged in, though. This person is so manipulative and toxic. They're going to... They're going to lie to you. They're going to say that they missed you. They're going to try to say that they... They're going to they're gonna try to make excuses for themselves. They're going to tell you how, how they can... They're going to gaslight you. They're going to say, oh, I'll change. I'll do this. I'll do that. But they're not. They're going to they're gonna try to seduce you. going to try to manipulate you, seduce you. Try to, try to pretend like they're giving you everything that you want and dreamed of. But the hidden truth is that, no, they're the same person they've always been. And you know that. You intuitively know that already. So... So get through this crap with them. Get through um, uh, get through this battle. You know, show your guides that you're committed to this new life and new love that you're asking for. Um, stay in your power, stay strong, rise above the loneliness, no matter how hard it is, know that you deserve better. Just just get through this energy, and then you have this soulmate in your energy field that's currently waiting and hoping and praying for and manifesting you. They're asking for a love like what you guys would have together and, and vice versa. You guys are feeling each other's energy telepathically. And so this is going to, this might be coming in pretty quick once you get through this lesson. Once you get the, you need like closure or maybe you need to do like a cord cutting spell for some of you. Maybe their energy is still dragging you down. There needs to be a finality here though, so that you can free your energy up for this new love. And, and like just abundance. It's like a whole different path you're going to be going down. Um, so anyway, if this resonates... Please go ahead and subscribe to me, um, share my videos. Maybe someone on your social media account needs to hear this message too. Um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. And I also do paid private readings. My email address is below. And I can look more deeply into this situation, into the ex, into the new person, whatever you want to know about really. So thanks for watching.